Hi, Mike Kennedy here, and we're looking at some Berkey polypore. And I just want to highlight some of the differences in this and how it's very different from Chicken of the Woods. Now, from a distance, this might look like uh, Chicken in the Woods to some people, uh, but it isn't. Now, you can primarily tell, one of the ways you can tell is, see how thick this, this is at the edge here? Chicken of the Woods, uh, as it develops, becomes thinner at the edges. They don't keep this thick uh, edge like this. And uh, what we kind of have now, Chicken of the Woods can kind of grow in a rosetta as well. But these are almost like a funnel-like structure. You can see that it looks more like a funnel than uh, actually forming shelves. You have these little pieces. This, this one looks a little like a shell, but it tends to be in these broader pieces and like I say one of the main characteristical differences is the fact that the the leading edge of the uh, Berkey polypore uh, is really thick and you just don't see that in chicken of the woods as chicken of the woods gets older it can lose some of its color so it could make it more confusing but again the morphological or the shaping of these uh, uh, mushrooms clusters make it unmistakable that it's actually Berkey polypore and not uh, chicken of the woods. I also find that the the surface of the Berkey polypore is very distinctive from the way uh, chicken of the woods mushroom is too and the banding that you see is quite different as well. So taking all of these together I think it's pretty easy to determine that this is a Berkey polypore and not a chicken of the woods.